Hey everybody, welcome back. So today is a little bit of a different episode. And uh, what we got going on is a while back you guys see my 3212 simplicity. The one that I used to always pull around the uh, log splitter with. But uh, when the guy restored the thing, he did kind of a shoddy job. Shoddy. And he didn't do any of the regular maintenance or anything like that. So I'm going to flip you around and show you what we got. So that carburetor is not allowing the engine to get any fuel so it needs to be rebuilt well to find parts for these old carburetors it's not hard to do but everything's back ordered right now so what I actually did was I have partnered up with HIPAA and hang on a second take it out of the bag all right i have partnered up with hipaa and they actually have the replacement carburetor for this single cylinder briggs 12 horsepower so today's project is to get this thing all swapped out there are a couple things i'm noticing that are backwards like on this one this linkage on the old one is down on the back side this one it's on the front side but on the other thing I've noticed is this fuel line hookup on the old one if you can all right if you see that fuel line hookup, that's actually a 90 degree. So we, once we get this carburetor off of here, we will see if we can swap out a couple of these older parts and make this new carburetor work. So let's go ahead and get it taken off and I'll be back with you. All right, everybody. So we got her all done. So, flip you around, show, flip you around and show. There it is. Oh, there's Miss Sadie. She came in for some lovings. There it is. Got a bolt right there and a bolt right there. Disconnects it. Something you'll have to think about. As I pointed out on the old carburetor, your choke lever is now on the front side. On the old one, it was on the back side. So our choke is not hooked up right now. You can flip that around. You gotta take out your watch plug and all that. Go inside. But uh, if you don't wanna mess with that, all you gotta do is buy a new choke cable. They're all over on the internet. So we got everything all dialed in. I actually need a new regulator. And the starter works, but we'll take that in when we get the regulator. Also needs a new battery. But we put all new fuel line, new inline fuel shut off, inline uh, fuel filters, all new fuel hose. And there it is. So, alright guys. I was informed this last couple of weeks. Go on HIPAA's website. They do have a big old sale going on. April 28th to... Uh, like May 3rd or 4th. I'll put a link to their website down below. If you guys need any of this. So, if you're into tuning carburetors and stuff like that, 
that was something else we did. We actually used <coughs> our flip your own our HIPAA toolkit. We actually tested the spark on this puppy and it has really good spark. So they got a couple of different so go on there, check them out, see if they got the carburetor, fuel line, stuff that you need. And utilize that sale while you can. So there's another garden tractor up and running. This one will primarily be hooked up to the log splitter at all times. The one sitting there full of tools and everything else. This one will be hooked up to like the yard cart right there or the wagon back there under all that mess that's what this one will do we got our two mowers sitting back there simplicity carrier 48 inch kawasaki 21 and a half horse uh, that's a 96 simplicity sovereign with your 18 horse Kohler on it, 48 inch deck. So that one has the tire fixed, sharpen the blades, clean the deck, full service on the motor. This one here uh, needs washed up and new battery terminals installed. So other than that, we just got done adding another garden tractor to the fleet. So, all right guys. As I always say, be safe, be kind, have a wonderful week with your families, and if I'm lucky, I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.